Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. I'm going to show you how to disassemble your PC charger. To begin with, I want to make sure that the charger is completely unloaded. So I am going to visibly and physically check my chamber to make sure there's no live ammu ammunition in the charger, as well as the magazine. And I have no live ammunition in my work area. And I don't need my magazine. I'm going to set that to one side. For tools, you're going to need a saw-faced hammer, a 532nd hex head driver and a punch. I'm going to use a 332nd punch and of course a good pair of safety glasses. So to begin with, I'm going to take the barrel assembly off. This is a takedown so I don't need that for disassembly. So I'm going to pull my latch forward, twist my barrel and remove the barrel assembly. I'm going to set that to one side. I'm going to release my bolt assembly, let that go forward. So that is fully forward. And there's two screws holding the chassis in place. So the front one, I'm going to unscrew this. Now the screw will unscrew, but it does not come out. It's just going to loosen up. It'll, it'll stay inside the chassis, but it'll be unscrewed from the receiver. So you can feel that it, it's loose. If you flip this over on the top side, here we have a screw. That holds the, the grip and the bracket. You're, you're not going to take the grip off per se. You're going to take the bracket that's on the grip. So we're going to unscrew that. So I want to get that screw completely out and my whole grip assembly with the bracket will come off. From there, I can lift the chassis off of the receiver. Now some of these come off a little stiff. If, if you're trying to pull on this, it doesn't come off. You can take your saw faced hammer and just give a tap to your trigger guard. You don't have to hit it too, too hard. And that allows you to separate the chassis from, from your main receiver. I'm going to set that aside. There are two pins that go through the receiver that hold the trigger guard on and we're just going to push those through. Those are non-directional, doesn't matter which way we push them through and they're the same size pin. It's basically the same pin. And we, so we can just push those through. There's no worry about getting those mixed up. I can get the two pins out and then my entire trigger group comes out. There is a bracket at the back of the receiver and again it's a 332nd screw, hex head screw. We're going to unscrew that and remove the bracket because the bracket is in the way of taking our bolt assembly out. So we need to get the bracket out of the way in order to get our bolt assembly out of there. You need to take out your charging handle. This handle here, it's a 332nd again. Unscrew that. So I'm going to set those aside. Now at the back, there is a, there's the bolt assembly, there's a buffer in the spring. If you grab the buffer, pull it slightly forward and lift up, you can get the entire bolt assembly up and out. I'm going to pull that out to the rear. I'm done with the receiver, so I'm going to set the receiver to one side. The bolt top assembly, that is your spring and guide rod and the buffer, this all comes out. I'm going to set that aside. There are three pins on the top of the bolt assembly, two at the very front, and one would be to the, to the right hand side here. This is for your extractor. So we're going to remove the extractor. I need to compress that in and push in from the bottom with a punch. So I'm just going to hold that with my thumb. I'm going to compress the extractor pin through. That, the pin comes out, the extractor and the spring all come out. So I'm going to set those to one side. At the very front we have our bolt face here and that whole, that assembly comes out and the two pins. So if I compress the bolt face in the two pins will fall out, so I'm going to hold it upside down, compressing the bolt face. The two pins will fall out, and then I can remove that bolt face, set those aside. That gives me access to the firing pin spring. The firing pin will come out, and the firing pin goes through our dead, dead blow weight here inside the receiver. If I turn this upside down, that just falls out under its own weight. And that is everything. That is complete disassembly on the PC charger. There's also videos on tech tips on cleaning. We're assuming that you're cleaning and inspecting the gun at this point. So you can watch our tech tip videos on cleaning the, the PC carbine, which applies to your charger. Thanks for watching this Ruger Tech Tip.